Hey guys, it's Talisha G Style here. I am back with a video. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but a lot of things have been taking place and I'm trying to transition my content into something different. I want it to not just be fashion. I want it to be fashion, fitness, and lifestyle. The wind is slightly blowing today, so I'm hoping you can hear me. I'm gonna project my voice as much as possible, but yeah. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my review of the 75 hard challenges things that I came to the realization of, tips and tricks that I have for you if you're interested in doing it, and just basically a summary of what I thought of it and if I think you should do it too. So let's get into it. So the 75 Hard Challenge, it was designed by Andy Priscilla. He is like an entrepreneur, like a serial entrepreneur, a gym person. He encourages all um, self-control, self-discipline, merit, grit, all of that stuff he he's a person that believes that you are in control of your life and anything that is kind of going wrong in your life it's because of you kind of thing he's more so one of those people where you need to pull yourself up by the bootstraps and that's what kind of caught me to do this whole entire journey because of course I am a believer in Christ I'm a born again believer in Christ I know that there's certain things that can affect um, things in your life but I do believe a lot of circumstances a lot of reasons why we are in the places that we are is because a lack of self-control a lack of self-discipline I've gotten myself into many things where it shouldn't have even gone that way even the amount of weight that I gained last year should have never gotten to that place but it's because I lack self-control and self-discipline so that's why I joined this fitness journey of 75 hard so 75 hard is basically um, a 75 day challenge where for 75 days straight in a row you are going to do two workout two 45 minute workouts so you have to one of them has to be outside which I'm gonna go and do right now I'm done the challenge but I still like working it outside the second one has to be it can be outside or inside it's up to you but you have to do two 45 minute workouts second you have to drink a gallon of water a day that was so hard because I was constantly going to the bathroom it was ridiculous but yeah you have to drink a gallon of water a day um, drink a gallon of water a day you have to read 10 pages of a book a day so it can't be any fiction so no Harry Potter nor Lord of the Rings none of that crap it has to be a non-fictional book and it should be like a self-development book or self-help books or business book something that's gonna help grow your mind and help get you to the place that you want to be um, mentally and even physically too because some of the books that I read um, they were more so faith they were Christian books Christian I don't want to say self-help books but they were just like dealing with different topics and I'm gonna do a separate video in regards to that as well um, you can't drink any alcohol for 75 days so I had no wine and I really like wine but after doing this I don't really care for it as much um, after that no wine you have to find follow a diet plan so for 75 days straight you have to stick to a strict diet plan which makes sense because it's like you're working out and then you're just eating like crap it doesn't make sense but for me I was in a caloric deficit so and I was I, I cut out like chicken wings fries burgers things, like things that I really love like <laughs> I love those stuff poutine oh my gosh I love it and as well you have to take a progress a progress picture each day so you have to talk you have to take a picture um, of yourself each day and how you're progressing so um, yeah that was really good sometimes it was challenging it seems easy a lot of these things seem easy at first but doing it 75 days in a row is very hard and plus here's the kicker if you forget to do any one of these things at any point in time, you can be on day 74, you forget to take your picture, you have to start it all over again from day one. So that's what makes it so hard. Um, and I didn't even say hard, but challenging. That's what makes it so challenging for a lot of people is because you think you're like great, you're going, 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 and then you forget to do something and then you have to do it all over again. So it's really hard. No cheat meals, none of that stuff it has to be that strict diet. So that was really hard for me way I found out about this is that um, my friend I think he did it last year the year before and I didn't really get to, I didn't really pay attention too much to the results but I paid attention to what it was and I was like oh my god this sounds really great but at the same time this sounds really really hard so I'm not gonna even try to like even try to act like I can do this let me think about it before I do it so that's what happened I thought about it for a year I actually kind of push it to the back of my mind I'm like whatever 2020 came around I was ordering food like crazy 
I was being fat like crazy, like not fat, but you know what I mean? For me, I gained about 15 pounds because I, I think last year, was, at the beginning of the year, I was probably 150, 155, but then I gained that additional 15 pounds and it came really fast and I didn't even realize it. Um, when I'm a smaller petite frame, like my body is a smaller frame, you'll see, I'll probably put pictures and stuff. I'm a petite person, so for me to gain that much weight, it's like, it looks really bad. At least to me, it looks bad. People are like, oh, you look fine, you're okay. And it's just like, no, I'm not trying to be the heavy, heavy, um, tiny girl. No, I could easily just keep slipping, slipping, slipping. That, that's not me. And I know that isn't me. And that's why I really gravitate towards this um, Andy Frisilla and the 75 Hard because it's like it talks about self-discipline, self-control, and mind over matter. And I'm like a big believer in that. Like I'm usually, or I was, or no, I am a very self-disciplined person and, and I can have self-control in regards to food and stuff. So that's what kind of like disappointed me last year. But a lot of things are going on. So it is what it is. I knew what the mistake was. I knew what I was doing. And then I use this to help correct it, right? To get me back on track. Um, I guess I can talk about what I ate. Um, I'm not gonna say what I ate to like lose the 20 pounds because obviously working out twice a, um, twice a day and then sticking to a diet, but I was very like, I don't know, I guess say boring. Some people are a little bit more creative with their food, but usually when I'm trying to lose weight or trying to trim up or like become really like, you know, I'm um, focused on my goals like my fitness goals, I become really boring with my food. I just do the simple, um, I just do simple things quinoa and vegetables and salmon I'll do chicken breast I did a lot of salads I did a lot of salmon like I stuck to basics that I knew the only thing I wish I did was to like experiment with different recipes but the other day I had like salmon tacos so that was cool um, like curried shrimp shrimp pastas like with vegetables and stuff like that so i did things like that i kind of made it up but i just made sure that i was sticking to a 13 but between 13 to 1500 calorie deficit so i wanted to um do that um in order to lose weight because no matter what you can be working out like crazy because that's one thing people don't realize you can be working out like crazy but if you are not in a caloric deficit you're not going to lose weight so i don't care how many times you go to the gym a week or oh yeah i do pilates i do this it's just like okay that's cool but are you in a caloric deficit are you taking in less calories than you're burning kind of thing you're not it's like it, it, you're wasting your time kind of thing not wasting your time oh well, there's a car driving off <laughs> but yeah if you're not in a caloric deficit hun you ain't gonna lose the weight as quickly as you would want it to you'll just bulk up but you're not gonna lose weight and you're not gonna lose fat so that's what i did and as well a lot of the weeks a lot of, for a few weeks at a time I was, I was doing intermittent fasting as well so I wouldn't start eating until about 12 1 o'clock and then at the at the end of the evening I'd probably stop eating around 8 9 o'clock depending on what time I would get home workouts what I did I did some cardio and I did a lot of running I'm a runner I'm naturally a, a runner I'm like from middle school I've been doing track so running is something natural for me so I wanted to so I want to continue that again and I'm glad that this challenge was here because it got me to be outdoors and like being active and stuff so that was really helpful and really fun for me um, to get back into that groove. I did get yeah, cardio, running, um, I did a lot of power walks in the morning. <laughs> I did a lot of power walks in the morning before work which were great as well too as usually a lot of my outdoor workouts. Um, then I would do like cardio in the nighttime. I would do HIT. Um, I did Pilates, which is great. Like I discovered that I like Pilates because I was like, I ain't doing yoga. I ain't trying to have no demon come up in me. While I, <laughs> sorry for those who do yoga, but I don't believe in yoga. I'm a born again believer in Christ, so I don't believe in. Uh, it's not a believe. I don't practice yoga. It's not a part of my faith, so I'm not going to do that. I research a lot of it and I would um, I was like nah I'm not doing it research Pilates Pilates was is has nothing spiritual based to it so I start to do that and a lot of celebrities actually do Pilates not to say that I did it because of them but they do it so that they can stay stay toned and lean because you're all you're using is your muscles in your body to um, yeah to tone up and stuff like a lot of girls who have these slim waists without surgery it's because they do Pilates workouts. So if you didn't know that, now you know. To be honest, it was kind of hard to take, like, to do 
those workouts two times a day because sometimes I work full time 40 hours sometimes 50 hours a week so coming home some days I would just do like I would do two power walks I would do one power walk in the morning outdoors and then in the evening I'll just come home put my stuff in my car park my car and just go and do my walk and then go inside it was like it was that intense because sometimes I'm just extremely tired and I just want to go to sleep like that's all I wanted to do but yeah that was <laughs> that was a part of the workouts um, the water about the gallon of water each day that was hard just because you're peeing all the time you're constantly going to the bathroom it's crazy how much you go to the bathroom I didn't even realize some days I would fall asleep like I would be dozing off and I would remember like oh you still have water to drink like that's how hectic it was but um the reading the reading of the books were great because I don't like to read or I didn't like to read before like ugh, reading please that was like the last thing I wanted to do I'd read an article or two but to read a book like I would start books and not finish them or it would take me forever to go through them and I'm glad that they added that component to it because it's just like yeah get people to read like even if you're reading like um as as he wanted people to do non-fictional ones and stuff like that that is good to do I liked the reading component of it like at first obviously I did not like it because I'm like ah, I have to read 10 pages a day and I was like you know upset about that but um I eventually got used to it and even now like sometimes it is hard because like I'm really tired when I come home from work because I work in retail I walk a lot my store is huge I'm doing a lot of walking up and down pacing back and forth so when I would get home at night to read that was so difficult for me sometimes so I try to read during the day like on my break but then you have people at work talking to you and then um, or in the mornings I try that on the weekends depends on my schedule and stuff it was a lot but the books that I chose to read were as I said they were Christian books which helped me with my walk with my faith and stuff like that um, I feel like at the beginning of this challenge my faith wasn't where I would want it to be but due to me reading 10 pages a day and then even reading the scriptures each day too not all days I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I didn't read the scriptures every day but looking at like different perspectives different subjects on in regards to my faith in these books it really did help um, and I'll talk more about those books in another video because I really want to um, dive not dive deep but just like you know give a review per se or let people know about the books that I read I guess I'll talk about some experiences that I remembered and noted in my mind so that I could um, share with you guys I remember coming up to it I thought about doing this two weeks I, I thought about it for two weeks I'm like okay I want to lose some weight and I want to do this challenge but let me really think about it because I don't want to start and then have to stop because I don't like doing that I, I'm kind of like stubborn and prideful in that way where I don't want to start something and then not end up finishing it so that's why I thought about it because I know the scriptures say count the cost before you start building or whatever the scripture is I'm sure y'all know I'll, I'll link it or something but it's like you know count the cost before you start building so before you start doing something you should really consider it before you get into it a lot of people don't do that and then they end up quitting a lot of things because they think it was easier than it was but it really wasn't so that's why they end up you know beating up on themselves and stuff like that but it's just because you never counted the cost so I thought about it for two weeks and then but like a few days I'm like no I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this I was afraid I was very nervous because I'm just like oh my god I can't believe I'm gonna do this for 75 straight 75 days in a row but there's so much foolishness that will do 75 days in a row and not even think about it so I'm like nah this is my health this is me building mental toughness this is this is this is about me and it's about making myself better so nah I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this <laughs> So I started February 15th. The day before, I was really, really emotional and very depressed. I don't know what it was, but it was just like, I was I was a hot mess the day before. I don't know if it was something spiritual or if it was an attack. I don't know what it was, but I was not feeling up to it. But I, I decided to push past those feelings and push past the emotions. And I'm like, nah, I'm doing this. I don't even care because nothing's gonna stop me because I need to become better. I know this is not who I am and I know where I'm supposed to be, so I'm not gonna even bother listening to all that. I mean, for the first two weeks, I would say I was super, super, 
super sore like extremely sore my body my muscles were so sore but it's because you're doing two workouts a day every day in a row back to back to back so your body has to get used to it and adjust to it but yo those first two weeks i was so sore it was very hard for me and i'm so glad that we had a lockdown because at work i think around that time there was a lockdown in between that time i'm in ontario guys ontario's they're losing their minds with these lockdown thingy majiggies but anyways we were in a lockdown so i didn't have to move as fast and as much so that was really great to have but um trust me it was like mm, it was really hard on my body but um as well too i constantly was checking my weight on a day-to-day -day basis which if you're going to don't do that because it's going to discourage you so much because i realized i'm like i'm not losing weight i'm not losing weight like i was becoming sad but then i was like you know what stop doing that check it periodically check in periodically because you're if you know like i've done i've um lost weight before and it's like if you check it every day you're gonna go up and down constantly there's gonna be different factors that are gonna play in like for us women if we are about to get our periods i know for me i put on a little bit of weight before my period i'll, I'll um become bloated the water weight stuff like that my breasts get bigger all that other stuff um, and as well too, if you haven't gone to the bathroom, gotten to a number two, that affects it as well. Like there's so many little things that will affect your weight on a day-to-day -day basis. So checking on a daily daily basis doesn't help you. It doesn't help your mind. It doesn't help your self-esteem. So I would suggest just checking it periodically. So I stopped doing that. I would check it like every 10, 20, 30 days. After a while, I just stopped caring. Cause I'm like, you know what? It's not even about the weight as much. It's more so how are you transforming on the inside and outside. I know he was saying around um, the 45 um, day mark, people are over it, and it's true. Like around 45 to 55 day, the day mark, I was kind of over it. Over to say I wanted to stop, but I was like so tired. I'm like, honestly, because I was just like, oh, I have to do this again. Like I have to do another workout again. Like it's like a lot of planning in your mind. Like I was just so like, I was just like, meh, I'm over it. I'm so over it. But obviously you have to keep on going because it's just like i'm 50 days in how am i gonna quit now that's stupid <laughs> you know that didn't make no sense to me some days i would doze off like I, while i'll be reading at night i'm like dozing off like i'm struggling to get through like the last few pages i'm struggling to get through that last water oh some days like you would i would go out or i'll go somewhere with somebody or i'll go to my friend's house and i, I would have to come back home and I would just cuss because I'm like, I can't believe I did that. Now I have to go and work out now. Oh, there's just so many different little things throughout the time that would just like irk me. But it had nothing to do with anybody else but myself. It was a lack of my planning, a lack of my um, self-discipline and time management and all that stuff. So it had nothing to do with anybody else, but it was me. And I was just like, wow, I have to take accountability for this. I can't blame my friend. She just wanted me to come over. I can't blame her. I can't blame this for like you know I couldn't blame anybody but myself and, and like I would allow um, before I, would, I was allowing certain things to distract me from even my water intake and I was like nah I can't nope sorry I have to drink my water nope so it's really up to you to like put in that work for you to get the type of results you want to get <laughs> the benefits of doing this 75 hard um, one of the benefits is that it got me into a routine. The days that I did routines really, really helped me. The reason why it helped is because you wake up, you automatically know, okay, wake up, take me up, pick my photo, get my, um, put on my clothes, go for my walk, come back, get ready for work, blah, blah, blah. Like it puts you in a good routine and it teaches you time management because it's like you, some people were saying they had a lot of time. I'm like, a lot of time. I'm like, I felt like I didn't have any time because I'm just constantly trying to figure out how I'm going to like, you know, make sure I stick to a schedule. But the more you have a routine and a schedule, the easier it is for you because it just becomes automatic, automatic, automatic. And if you miss something, it's like your body and your mind kind of reminding you like, hey, 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 you forgot to do something. And it's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah okay like you know because you have that routine down pat so i would suggest like I, that was the um, benefit for me because it got me to a routine of course me losing weight i lost like 20 pounds doing this i was oh, i was 170 like i was 170 169 because one day it said 170 before and then the other day it said 169 but either way whatever i was i was heavy i was real big real big your gal was real big 
So, um, <laughs> yeah, I lost weight, which was a benefit. It made me put myself first. That was another benefit because usually I would always allow other people's stuff to come before me and I'm like no sorry I if you can't work within this schedule then no I can't come or no I have to do this tonight or no I have to read like because I was a person I was I, I was a people pleaser that's one thing I discovered as a people pleaser so I allowed other people's things to come in front of mine and I'm just like no I'm not doing that anymore made me realize that I need to at times put myself at for a first obviously you can't be selfish and stuff like that if the person if someone needs like extreme help I'm going to but even if someone needed help or if they wanted to talk and stuff like I had a friend where we would go for walks because I'm like you know what? we can talk and I can get my walk in of course why not? Like, I'm going to get my workout in and we get to talk and do whatever. But I made sure that I put myself first, which I normally don't do. So I was happy about that. It made me want to read more. It made me interested on different topics to read about. So that was really good. Not only like um, Christian faith books, there's some books that I want to order now. Like, there's a whole bunch of books that I want to order just because I want to be able to... Um, know about these things I'm interested in them and it made me realize that like I really like self de development I've always been that person positive and want to like you know get to the next level improve my life improve others lives it made me realize that like I um, I actually do don't mind reading like I'm not saying I'm a lover now but it's a lot better than I was before <laughs> um, and it helped me think more positive I feel like uh, towards the latter part of last year early this year I wasn't thinking positively like I wasn't thinking I wasn't using faith I wasn't as hopeful as I was as I am now that I was then like as I said I was very like emotionally just blah, before but now it's just like I I feel like I'm getting back to that place where I want um, where I'm very hopeful very um, optimistic things like that so I'm glad about that um, as well it helped me get back to that self-discipline that I normally have and as well it helped it helped with my self-respect I feel like I lost a lot of respect for myself because I became so big and I allowed people like to do certain things but it allowed me to it showed me that like no you you can respect yourself you did this okay you are that you are that girl like you did this 75 days in a row because one thing I would always tell myself and remind myself like when I'm outside and like running and doing certain things I would always remind myself like you're not built like everybody else and no one is built like you you need to understand how unique you are not just because you did this challenge you're some special person but you are doing you're taking the extra step that a lot of human beings don't take so you're like you know just to remind myself on a daily basis like i would tell myself that and it would just encourage myself and i have a lot more respect for myself like girl you did that you have a lot more discipline a lot more grit a lot more merit than a lot of other people would do so be proud of that so i i have that like you know i feel good <laughs> and that usually comes when you do when you lose weight or you if you become disciplined in a certain thing it gives you a sense of pride and a self of self-confidence and it helps you feel good about yourself and empower yourself so yeah yeah and just like another thing like obviously to tie in with this but it made me realize like I am not a normal person like not the average person is doing half the stuff that I was doing and ha and would even be willing they want it to be easy and for me to do things that are not easy you're you're out of your mind because in our society especially because I'm a millennial a lot of us aren't gonna do the hard things we want to do things that are easy we will quit at the site uh, at the at this at the little bit of, of adversity or challenge like they're gonna quit they're gonna complain they're gonna try to call the government and I'm just like you're not quitting like who are you you're weird you're a beast you're unusual obviously I'm not a beast but like <laughs> you know I have I was in my beast mode so yeah it made me realize like yeah you're that girl <laughs> some tips that I have if you are gonna do this challenge because a few people have been asking me about it and all I keep telling them is just think about it first girl think about it bruh think about it sis because you do not want to start this and then have to keep repeating repeating and repeating it count the cost before you get involved because 
you may you it sounds easy so many people are like oh that's easy that's nothing like oh okay yeah cool sure it's easy but on a day-to-day -day basis it's a whole different ball game count the cost before you start okay just count it count it <laughs> so only tell people who you can trust and who you know who you know are on your side and who is going to encourage you i i barely told anybody that i was going to do this just because i didn't want no one talking me out of it because when you hear 75 days you have to like all of the things that you have to do a lot of people are going to discourage you from doing it and i'm a firm believer in and not telling people your goals or why because people and not to say that people are, are are like bad mind or they're like against you and stuff and stuff like that but people underestimate you and underestimate your abilities and then they'll try to talk you out of it yeah usually it's a reflection of themselves as to what like, like they're looking it's like they're looking at themselves but it's like really no it's not about you it's about me this is what i want to do so yeah you're not going to stop me kind of thing so that's why i don't really tell people my goals too much they'll try to discourage you and as well another thing that i learned online that when you do when you speak your goals and what things that you want to do out loud you subconsciously tell your mind that you've already accomplished it it's like you already kind of say yeah i've already did it and it's like you didn't even get started so i'm a firm believer in not telling people your goals or only telling a few people what your goals are until the ball is rolling or until it's accomplished another tip that i would give you is have a routine and schedule majority of the days the weekends i kind of was like ah oh, whatever but like try to have a routine and schedule it makes it easier as i was saying earlier because if you're you'll remember like oh i didn't do this today kind of thing like your body and your mind will remind you that something doesn't feel right because you didn't do that routine for that time plan your meals if you can stick to certain things don't wait just last minute to figure out what you're going to eat kind of thing at least get all of the groceries that you think you know try to plan whatever recipes ahead of time so when you go to the grocery store you can get the things that you need and then from there throughout the week you'll know like okay i have shrimp so i can make shrimp um like a shrimp pasta or i can make shrimp tacos i can make a shrimp salad plan those meals ahead so that you know what you can do and what you can't do kind of thing right try different workouts i tried i've never tried pilates before i always heard about it and i'm so glad that i researched it and did it because it's like oh okay yeah great i know pilates now you may have wanted to try just just to or some type of workout try it you have 75 days you have so many you have two you have two workouts a day so try something new try something different and you'll never know what you end up may liking right one thing that i'm glad that i got to do is I walked in different neighborhoods like me and my friend we got to walk in two or three different neighborhoods reason being is that like especially if you're starting this challenge and you're not in the place that you want to be when you walk in different neighborhoods you get a different feel of energy or energy or that atmosphere if that makes sense um it's like a different um vib vibration or spirit whatever you want to say but you you get a sense of a different type of environment kind of thing instead of walking in the same place where you are all the time go to a different neighborhood you don't know what you're doing like uh, spiritually and like prophetically or whatever you want to call it because we got to see different houses we got to see different like neighborhoods cars and stuff like that it's like i personally want to do it just because i want to project not project myself but like to prophesy to myself if that makes sense into these different neighborhoods so i can see what is out there and that i'm not just stuck in the same local area of brampton and i'm going to continue to practice that i want to see different neighborhoods i don't want to think that i'm going to remain in brampton all the rest of my life and i think it's a great way to some people will call it manifestation or visualization whatever you want to call it but definitely go out there to different neighborhoods different parks and and get that different like energy that different vibe whatever you want to call it i don't know as well get your fat your friends and family involved like if your friend wants to go and do something like yeah sure we can do that but how about we walk and do it or how about we go for a run or like you know get more get your fan friends and family involved by me doing this i didn't really say too much to my mom but she ended up doing her own walk she ends up she now wants to like you know eat differently but like you inspire people around you when they see you actively doing this so get them involved if you can read different books i know if you're not much of a reader 
which I was not. There was always books that I saw that I'm like, oh, that looks good, but I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> there were so many books that I saw before that I wanted to read and I read them now. So I'm like, great, like, you know, it gave me the chance to read them. And then there's a lot more other books that I want to read that I have to order. I need to slow down because it's like, I'm ordering all of these books and, I, and I'm like, okay, you're halfway through this one, you're ordering this one but it is what it is. It's um, giving me the discipline to read 10 pages a day. If I order a book now going forward, I know that I'm gonna read 10 pages of it each sitting instead of just reading five. And as well too, if you're going to do this, just do it. Don't tell nobody. Uh, of course you may want the encouragement and like you know the applause and stuff like that but remember like they're not going to be there day to day they're not going to be there at night when you're trying to force out all of that water <laughs> they're not going to be there when it is six o'clock in the morning you have to go for that morning um walk or run outdoors before work like just stick to it do it and believe in yourself and know that you can do it and enjoy it like i know some days i was cussing i'm not gonna lie i was just like this damn this damn thing like why did I even choose to do this but at the same time I'm glad I did and I don't regret it at all but yeah just do it keep your head down and just focus and keep going that's one thing I can that's one thing I would say is just keep your head down keep focused and do it it's about you it's about your health it's about your mental toughness about building yourself up because it may sound selfish to some, but if I'm not building myself up, how can I go and help build others? If I am not pouring into myself, how am I gonna pour out to others? So if people are saying, oh, you're being selfish. No, I'm I'm gonna be helping others, but I first have to help myself. Like, let me pick the, pluck of the, the plaque out of my eye before I can go and take on anybody else's. You know, it just makes sense to me in that way. So be selfish, pour into yourself, pour into yourself with the um, with the books eat right get healthy do all that stuff because more than like you're gonna turn around and be inspiration to someone else and help someone else okay so just do it enjoy it and have fun with it <laughs> that's my video that's my take on the 75 hard do I recommend it of course I do I only recommend it to certain people though like if I'm led I recommend it to one friend and her and her aunt are doing it now and I'm super happy for her and super proud of her and her aunt for doing it but I'm hoping that like by watching this video that you get inspired um, to not not just to only do the 75 hard but just to stay active to build your mind to build your mental toughness to get more discipline to get more control over yourself and to know that it's up to you no one else but yourself so just remember that but yeah guys that is my take on the 75 hard challenge it was definitely a challenge but it was so worth it i'm so glad i did it and i definitely will do it again i definitely recommend it now like this video if you are inspired by <laughs> my 75 hard challenge and journey as well comment down below if you're doing the 75 hard challenge or if you want to do it as well too let's talk about it i can always help you or give you some tips or something i'm not no personal trainer but i can give you some tips and tricks about it and as well share this video with those who you know are on the challenge or want to do the challenge or anything like that just to give them some inspiration and some motivation while they're doing it okay so thank you guys so much for watching more videos are to come and i'll see you guys in my next video bye i'm gonna go do my run now <laughs> uh, my 45 minute run watch me turn Actually, into a savage in four years for 48 hours now what does it turn into it turns into how hard we compete how personal do you take this how personal do you take your matchup how personal do you take it if they don't slide to you? How personal do you take it if...